So, in today's video, as you can see, we got something ghastly, ghouly, and glam. Oh, I like that. Ghastly, ghouly, ghouly, and glam going on right now. So in today's video, I've brought to you a She Did tutorial. And if you guys wanna see how I got this look and how you can achieve it very easily, very affordably, then just keep on watching. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just get all my hair about the way. And I'm gonna start off with some moisturizing primer and I'm just gonna use about one and a half pumps of this and put it all over my face <laughs> because I didn't prime after just giving a quick rinse. Now I'm gonna go in with my foundation mixed in with some white cream paint, mix the two together and um, I started with a pretty hefty amount of the white paint but then I only split just about a half of what I did so about a pea size amount into three pumps of foundation and the more I mixed that, the more I realized it need more white paint. So I added a little bit more until I got my desired shade. Now I'm just gonna blend this all into my skin using a flat top brush that it's just really easy to buff in, it keeps the most pigmentation when it comes to tools and application. And I'm just gonna blend this all down my neck as well. And as you guys can see, I have a few like hyperpigmentation spots, whether it be dark or light. I'm just gonna take this orange cream shade from my cream contour palette and apply it in these areas just to give my skin um, even more neutrality, which is something I really need. I'm super warm toned, so to try to combat all of that um i just need, had to go in a few extra times with the foundation and to get rid of the streakiness i used a sponge that i dampened a little bit with some rose water Next, I'm going to be taking the lightest shade in the cream contour kit and mixing it with the white paint as well and just go ahead and blend it out as my concealer. So I went ahead and set my face with a translucent powder and now I am going in with a charcoal black and a shader brush into my contour areas of my face. Um, I don't recommend using this at first just because it was a little bit um, patchy in the blend work. So I had to go in with a different brush and sort of blend that out. It's a pretty stiff uh, contour brush. Um, I highly recommend starting with that if you're going to be recreating this look in any way, shape, or form. And I went ahead and cleaned that up with some more translucent powder in my sponge as well as my foundation brush. Now I'm going in with a deep brown on my normal contour brush and blending that out even more. Hi, Puzzle. Hey, pretty girl. Mm -hmm. Hi. Oh, mm -hmm. I know you're tired. No. No licky. No. No. My sweet angel. Sorrows of death comes to me. So after we're all blended, as you can see, we're done. It took a while. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the same contour brush that we use and um, contour my nose. I didn't add any extra product to the brush. Um, and I didn't want to, so I went in with the smaller brush as well and just blended it on in there. As for the eyes, I'm going to start with a warm colored in my crease. A warm, or sorry, 
I'm gonna start with a neutral color in my crease and go ahead and apply a white to my brow bone and blend the two together with a clean blending brush. And for this look, I really wanted to keep it dark and smoky. Um, so I just followed the natural wing of my eye and the outer V with that same charcoal color that we used. And I used a light, pretty light hand and just blended it vigorously until I got my desired look and just kept going back in um, with that color and the larger blending brush we used earlier to smoke it out. And then I went ahead in with this sort of deep berry to add to the crease because we'll, we will be using blood later. I thought it would, you know, tie the whole look together. Next, I'm going to take a really neutral beigey white and apply that to my lid. I didn't um, cut the crease or anything with concealer just because it was pigmented enough with the eyeshadows and looked great just with the eyeshadows. So I went ahead and applied that in that negative space and touched up that black as well. I added a little bit more berry to that brush and went ahead and blended it a little bit extra, you know, gotta get real smoky on them. And we're gonna go ahead and take that same charcoal shade and apply it to our lower lash line, just moving back and forth. Um, and blending it with the outer corner. Again, taking that same red shade, that berry red shade, and blending it out. And we went in again with that beigey white color and on our brow bones, blended that out again and moved on to brows. So for my brows, I wanted to keep it pretty straight. So I just kind of ignored my arch a little bit and just went for the straight brow with some black eyeshadow. As for the lips, I did line it with a black lip or a black eyeliner, but it was running out, so it didn't really matter in the end. Um, but I'm just using a brick color red and applying that charcoal shade once again to the outer corners to give a sort of like ombre um, effect. So to blend everything together, I just went ahead and applied the <clears throat> foundation with the cream paint onto our chest, just to be real cohesive and use that uh, translucent powder once again. As for my hair, I threw on my U-part wig and left my hair like it's dirty mess because it actually worked with this look and I went ahead and took a rack home and teased a lot of the hair um, and then it still wasn't to my desired wildness <laughs> so I went ahead and took a thicker brush and contoured or contoured Jesus I guess it is contouring up hair but teased it to give an even rattier look So that's the completed look for the Dead Glam Girl. And now we're gonna move on to adding the blood. So to do this, I went ahead and took my spatula. I cleaned it off of the foundation and I used coagulated blood um, that I got at the Halloween store. And I just went ahead and applied that underneath my lash line. Um, in no sort of fashion, just making sure not to get it in my waterline. And um, it started to create these natural drips in which I just took some liquid blood or vampire blood as it's called at the Halloween store and kind of let that drip a little bit um, while holding my head back so it doesn't fully drip all the way down. I wanted the tears to seem fresh, you know? And right here is where I messed up. But I didn't panic, I didn't panic because I already created that line underneath my line, my lower lash line. I just connected it with the spatula again. Wound up working out pretty well. And that's the completed look, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed this. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to see more. And make sure to turn on that notification bell to see when I post again. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.